This might be the easiest festival hairstyle that I have ever accomplished. This is gonna be thin hair friendly. Let's get into the video. Literally just had to rip the ponytail out and everything that I did because I filmed this for a TikTok and reel that I'm doing with Lexi hair. And the look was so good. I was like, I cannot not show the YouTube fam. So I'm redoing this right now so you can see. If you guys have followed me for a while and you follow my like hair growth journey and everything, then you know that I do have mixed hair. I'm half white, half black. My hair is naturally thin. That is partially genetics. And I did have really bad heat damage and chemical damage all throughout like high school and college. I am almost 27 now. I'm almost 27. So obviously that was a long time ago, but because of all of that damage, it caused my hair to thin to a point where like it wasn't growing back. Over the past couple years, I have been using serums and stuff to grow my hair. I will link my favorite serum down below. And my hair is growing back a lot thicker, so now I'm able to do more fun hairstyles and stuff. I know some of you guys have hair very similar to mine. I wanna give you the quick tea of how I slicked my hair up and how I weatherproof it for festivals. I also do this for the gym and stuff like that. Typically I won't have any leave out out right here. If I was actually going to a festival, I would probably slick this back too, just because if there's any humidity in the air, my hair is gonna like curl up, like really, really tiny ringlet curls. I blew my hair out with my blow dryer brush by Mermaid Hair. Oh my God, don't look, there's so much hair in here. I will link this down below for you guys. I also use this on my wigs and hair extensions and stuff if I want a quick blowout look and I don't wanna like whip out the curling iron and the Velcro rollers and all that. Obviously, I just pulled my hair up and I sectioned off these two front pieces and I waved them with this guy, which you guys have seen this before. Um, this is also from Amazon. Of course, I will link it down below as per usual. So I used the waver on this and then to slick my hair back to the point where it is like bulletproof, sweat proof, humidity proof. I use this got to be ultra glued invincible styling gel, which is also the same one that I use to secure my wigs. This stuff is literally amazing. I will say though, the ingredients are so sketchy. It's definitely not good for your hair. So if you are on a hair growth journey, and you want to use products like this, make sure that you're washing your hair afterwards or just like add an extra wash day to your week. You don't want this sitting on your hair for a long time if you're trying to grow your hair off. Oh, and then I use this, oh my God, guys. This is how you know this was an impromptu idea because my hairbrushes literally have so much hair in them. This is the brush that I use to get my hair real nice and slicked back. This is literally so dirty. There's hair gel all over this. This is disgusting. Anyways, it's the Torino Pro brush. I will also link this down below. Oh my God. By the way, you guys, I got Botox like a couple days ago and every day there's like one less wrinkle on my forehead and it's fucking awesome. Enough chit chat. Let's get into it, shall we? So I just kind of like to put it in a little bun. You could put it in a ponytail if your hair is naturally straight. Since mine isn't, I don't want any curls to poke out. So I just like to put it in a little bun like this so that way it really gets hidden by the rest of the ponytail. This is the gorgeous ponytail that we're using today. I know you guys are used to seeing my other one. That one's a little bit shorter. It's been dyed. I'm, I'm actually washing her right now. Look, she is sitting in deep conditioner. So we're just gonna let her hang out over here. This one is their longer ponytail. I can't remember if it's like 20, it's 20 something inches. It might just be 20 inches actually, but she's gorgeous. She's so long. This is the chestnut brown balayage, I believe. And I do have a discount code for this. So make sure you use it if you cop anything from Luxie Hair. Anyways, if you have not seen a ponytail extension before, this is what she looks like. This is all real human hair, okay? So you can straighten her, use any hot tool you want. You can blow dry her, you can wash her, dye her, bleach her, whatever you wanna do, okay? It's real hair. It has this awesome little Velcro situation on the top and then it opens up into this little lace situation, which is what goes around your ponytail or bun or whatever you have going on up there. So you can see it has the little combs up top. What we're gonna do is whip this thing around to the back and just put the combs in like so. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. And then we just wanna wrap the tiny little combs around the back of the ponytail. Grab that side with the Velcro, that little extra piece. And instead of wrapping her all the way around just yet, I'm actually going to pause her right there. And we're gonna grab our tinsel. This is also from Lexi Hair. It comes in this like cute little box too. Like I'm definitely gonna save this and use it for something. I believe it comes with like six pieces. It might be more. But since this is a festival hairstyle, yeah, we're gonna use these. They're so fun. I'm gonna take this little guy 
and just clip it into this portion of the ponytail that's going to be covered up by the rest of the hair. So we're just taking it like right here and clipping it in as close to the velcro as you can get. Okay. And I'm basically just going to kind of put these in all around. So we'll do another one. So cute. And then I am going to go kind of like the middle of the ponytail like this. Clip one in back here. But yeah, I wanted to do this hairstyle because I know it can be very frustrating when you have super thin hair and you're trying to figure out what hairstyle you can do for an event or something. You know, like sometimes it feels like your options are limited, but that's why I love these ponytail extensions because you can do a lot of fun things with them. And especially when it comes to a festival, let me tell you, you want your hair up. Yes, you want it to be cute and you want to be strutting your stuff, but you also don't want to be fucking around with your hair when it's hot and it's sticky and your balls deep in the middle of a crowd that you've been waiting in for the past three sets so you can be front row for your favorite artist. Like listen, the hair needs to be up. And I feel like ponytail extensions and slicking your hair back is the best way to still have a really fun, cute hairstyle and participate in the trends, but also be confident and know that your hair is good to go. Especially if you're camping because you just, you just don't have a lot of options, you know? Like now that these are all in the ponytail, let me give you guys a good look. I think we put about five of them in there. Now we're gonna take this section and wrap it, wrapping it around the back. Okay, and we're just gonna make sure we hide these little clips that are up here. So, if you gotta push them down, do what you gotta do. Obviously we want that Velcro covered up too, okay. Gorgeous. Gorgeous! Once you get to the little end of your section that covers up the Velcro and your little clips, you're gonna grab your little bobby pin. And I like to wrap the end piece around the bobby pin. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that, but I just kind of did a couple loops with the hair around the bobby pin and then I just put it in and there we go. Now, if you're going to a festival, make sure you put in a lot of bobby pins, okay? You wanna be secured. Secured, but like look at how gorgeous this looks already. It's so fun. I did also wave the ponytail with this as well before I put it in. I actually waved it like a couple days ago, so I just left the waves in there. This isn't actually straight ponytail, but I think the waves are just fun, especially for a festival. It just adds like a little more like, you know, it's fun. Obviously you could just leave it like this. It looks so adorable, but I am going to add some braids just to add some like fun texture to the ponytail. So I'm gonna take like this little section here, not that large at all, maybe like an inch, inch wide. And we're gonna braid it. I also think this look would be really cute if you did like a bubble ponytail. Like if you're going to a festival for three days and you're trying to make your ponytail extension last three days and you don't wanna do the same look, a bubble ponytail would be fun. Also a ponytail with like a bunch of braids, like instead of having all this leave out, like doing like six braids would be so cute. I really like this style because I like having tiny little braids in a ponytail, I just think it's fun. And I actually don't have like the little rubber bands that people like to use for small braids. You know the ones I'm talking about. I'll link some down below for you guys if you want to use them. Cause I feel like if you're going to a festival, it's probably best that you do secure these, but I'm just kind of braiding them all the way to the bottom and then they hold pretty well. And now we have a little braid in our ponytail. Look how cute that is. Like, are you joking? Oh, are you joking, love? Now we're gonna do one over here in kind of the same area. Also, do you guys like the top? Isn't it so cute? I feel like this is such a fun, like, festival color. Of course, it's definitely too warm for a festival. Well, depending on where you are. I feel like at Coachella at night, it gets really cold. So if you're doing an outfit change, this might be your best bet. The top is from Revolve. It was actually featured in my most recent Revolve haul. If you guys didn't see it, make sure you check that out after this video. It's really good. I got like a bunch of spring stuff. If you guys want the links to like my earrings and stuff too, I will also leave those down below because I feel like these are... These are fun for a festival. And the makeup. If you guys want a tutorial on the makeup, I would love to do a festival makeup tutorial. Maybe I'll do that next week. That'd be fun. It's basically my everyday makeup tutorial, which I do have a video for that here. I'm still using all of the products that I used from the Sephora haul. All right, I'm taking a section underneath my ponytail. I'm gonna do like one more braid here. And then we're gonna call it. So now we have our three little braids. I honestly just wanna wear this normally. Like, ugh, I just love festival fashion and hair. I feel like we have so much fun with it and we should just do it 
normally. Okay, but look, so freaking cute. I feel like the tinsel just really makes it pop off because obviously you don't need the tinsel for this look to be super cute, but I just feel like it really, it does something, you know? And of course the braids just add a little bit extra texture. Realistically, like I said, if I was going to a festival, this hair would be slicked back and it would still look so cute, especially if you had some like super fun shades. Anyways, that's the hair. I told you it was freaking easy. I hope this gave you some good inspo for your festival looks. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. And definitely let me know if you want like a fun festival makeup tutorial. Don't forget, everything will be linked in the description box down below. And also, if you haven't heard, I did launch a podcast. So make sure that you go check it out. It's the Call Me When You Get Lost podcast. Uh, this next week, we're talking about cycle syncing and how I got off birth control and how it changed my life. It's gonna be a juicy episode. And then last week, we talked about money mindset and how you could shift your vibration to attract more money into your life you know we talk about fun girly spiritual stuff over there it's just it's quite a vibe and if you like my vibe here you'll love it on the pod also don't forget to follow me on instagram and tiktok and yeah that's everything i love you guys so much and i will see you next week bye